Hello guys, it is Jay Dragon, also known as Haley. Today I'm making a tarot video about how you can become more spiritually strong. <laughs> so, sorry I'm a little sick. Don't mind that, okay? So, three different piles today. Pile number one. What makes how can they make themselves more spiritually strong? Call number one. Okay, we got the star card. How could they make themselves more spiritually strong? Call number two. The magician. How can. Mm -hmm. I already lost the nail, y'all. It's cool. <laughs> How can number three makes themselves more spiritually strong? Mm. The tower. Pile number one. Number two. And how number three. Alright. If you chose this star card, this is your reading on how you can become more spiritually strong. How can how number one become more spiritually strong? I'm hearing make more moves, post more things on social media, be yourself, have more confidence in yourself. I don't even know what that is, y'all. Sorry about that. How can Paul number one become more spiritually strong the high priestess? Following your heart and your intuition and your own intuition and your own guidance and I'm hearing also your moon cycles or something about your hormone cycles. Um, you want to pretend like you are opening up a light from your head, from the crown chakra or from your third eye. And I'm going to scoot back so y'all can see me. And y'all want to pretend like the light is coming from or connecting to a star, a physical star, or a planet. And that will help you become more spiritually strong also downloading information from stars and sun sun i should the sun or planets in the solar system also i'm getting like water and sand if you put your head in the sand kind of intuitively read things with sand questions just like tarot If y'all live like near the ocean, that's gonna help you. Or if you live near a desert, or if you just go outside. The lovers and the two cups. So expressing your true emotions, expressing your true self, and expressing your love for others will make you more spiritually strong. Having a group of like-minded people around you or having a group of people who pray for you or love you uh, will make you more spiritually strong. People will see themselves in you. This could be anybody. But also having a lover or a um, romantic connection will make you more spiritually strong. 
especially if you're like truly in love with this person or you truly um have a good relationship or a good friendship with this person making decisions here is also making you strong being fiery making decisions but also being patient like you guys kind of go with the flow and that makes you spiritually strong if you just kind of like let your anxiety go and just kind of listen to your intuition and kind of just move forward with your knowing you don't want to be scared of like things that have happened in your past and y'all need to let that go and it will make you more spiritually strong and authentic in yourself it will make you shine brighter if you let go of the past yeah if you cut off these weird memories or desires or feelings or tra like trauma feelings hurt feelings type of stuff, i feel like if y'all embrace every opportunity you have and every skill you have every moment you have with um groundedness and love and intuitiveness and beauty yeah making new beginnings not being afraid to take a leap of faith or take risks yeah. so that's your video i hope you liked it <laughs> If you picked this card, the magician, this is what you can do to become more spiritually strong. Huh. So I'm getting do not focus on lack. Do not think about lack. Do not focus on... Focus on beauty and abundance and light and light, white light energy and um, orange, yellow, and red energy. So abundance, passion, romance, um, and confidence in oneself. Do not focus on what you have lost, what you once had, um, what you don't have. Focus on what you do have on what you can achieve, on what is in the now, on what your ideas are, on how you can shine even brighter, not, oh, but I spent this money, and oh, no, 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 who cares, you can make it back, times 10, you can make, yeah, don't make yourself feel cold, or, um, regretful, or, you know, don't be hard on yourself, because, you know what's best for you and you have to be confident that you know that everything that you spend is going to come back to you everything that you um everybody that you lose if they truly love you they'll come back to you or if you lose a loved one they are still with you in your heart you know you can't make yourself you can't you know hold yourself back and keep yourself in stagnation over things that like you could use a different perspective on and like use them as fuel if that makes sense so like if you do spend a lot of money you're like okay well that will make me feel like i'm gonna work even harder to get that money back or i'm gonna you know pick up even more shifts or whatever or like it's not even like that like if y'all need a break know that you can take a break and that spirit will rejuvenate you i mean universe you're in that palm nothing bad will happen to you while you take this nap, while you take this hibernation. And so, while you're healing, don't worry. Don't make yourself feel anxious or depressed over things you've done because you're healing right now. And that's the whole point is to heal and to make yourself feel amazing and muy, 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 muy bueno. Okay? Yeah saying be patient with yourself like things take time give yourself time to grow and change and learn and 
be in certain different stages. Take the time to humble yourself and to appreciate the moment that you're in rather than always looking to what I'm going to do next, what I'm going to do next, what I'm going to do next. Meditation will really help this group, I feel like. And some self-love, some self-care, nice bath, a nice relaxing spa day or something. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is disgusting, but I'm about to blow my nose over Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. But, like, I'm stuffy. And all I got is this shirt. I know y'all do that, too. You got to. Anyway. Peace. <laughs> Hi, guys. If you chose pound number three, then this is what makes you miss. I just seen, like, electric. Like, I just seen, like, in my peripheral vision, like, some electric shocks. Just go. And this card has electric socks. And I'm getting, like, visions of, like, just bright light. Like, Y'all may, like, literally be able to shock people. Um, like, literally, like, deep and shock them. That or... Mm, sorry. I'm a little sick. Sorry. That or you literally shock people, like, surprise them. You know, all the time. What makes pound number three spiritually strong? Y'all is bold. Bold, 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 bold. Y'all could be a Sagittarius. Y'all just pop out. Y'all don't give a freak. Yeah. Like, y'all don't focus on lack. You focus on, you know, what you're doing that day that's going to make you happy. It's going to be fun, that you can have control of. Y'all might be a little bit of a workaholic. I feel like every group could be a little bit of a workaholic. But Just taking a little bit of a different perspective to help y'all out. Because the tower card, they're like hung upside down. And this person, the hangman, came out. So... Y'all may need to ask others for advice or look at other, like, take other perspectives into consideration. Yeah, I feel like y'all may be, um, your heart chakra may be a little closed off. And they're saying maybe, you know, follow your heart or listen to your heart a little more. Or, um, you know, trust a little more is kind of what I'm feeling. Like, take a leap of faith. Right? Like, you may have to let go of something from the past. And if you let go that go completely and you take a leap of faith, you could glow up and become a whole new you. And gain more spiritual awareness and enlightenment just because you trusted the universe, you know, in this process. In this, maybe, like, you got out of a bad relationship and someone, it's like, wanting to talk to you now and you're like i don't know but spirit's like encouraging you or you know you had a bad you know experience with something and spirit's encouraging you to try again um this could be like a sport an activity a creative hobby a work a job in a work field <clears throat> sorry y'all I'm hearing be open to new friends, be open to new styles, new ideas, new places. Just be opener. Be opener and that'll help y'all. Have a nice day.